after a long day of work. I was hungry. So I headed over to a local buffet, a Hong Kong buffet, all you can eat. They have a good selection of food, good variety. So I went ahead and picked up some honey chicken, black pepper chicken, some teriyaki chicken. Headed over to my table, ate that. Waited about five minutes, picked up another plate. On my second plate, I got some fruit, some cantaloupe. I got more of that honey chicken. It's so delicious. And then I was looking at the other foods that I had there. And because I try to eat really healthy and always have, there's a lot of foods that I have to avoid. So I just kept eating more chicken and fruit. And then I headed back to my table. Finished up my third and fourth plate. And then... Since I brought my DSLR with me, I wanted to try drawing in public for the first time. And it was it was a lot of fun. It was a lot different because I didn't bring my headphones with me, so I had the sounds and the noises of the people around me talking. But it did actually help me with the drawing because it gave me an atmosphere to draw and that I could add to the drawing. And as I was drawing it, I wasn't sure how to draw Hong Kong because I didn't remember it. Um, so I just looked it up online and drew it out. I tried drawing a dragon here, but I changed my mind and just continued drawing a bunch of scales. And um, there was a couple that were sitting in front of me and their kids with them. And they wondered what I was drawing because... The paper isn't very big. It's about 5.5 by 11 inches. And they looked back and wondered what I was drawing. Their son was like, Mommy, Daddy, what's he drawing? And then their father said, I have no idea what he's doing. And some of the workers came by and seen what I was doing. One worker had asked me what it was I was drawing and I explained it to her, my idea that I had. The workers there, they didn't know that the drawing was for them. But I liked the idea of working on a drawing that they enjoyed and to surprise them with something. So I kept drawing, and the pen I was using was a point zero zero five technical pen. And it's really good to draw on really tiny lines. You have to have a very gentle touch when you do it. It was about 5 o'clock at this time, and it kept getting darker and darker. I was waiting for them to turn the lights on, but I didn't want to interrupt them with their work, so I just kept drawing and made do with what light I had. And as you can see here, I started adding a lot of stippling around the country to give it a real good... Um, contrast to the white behind it to really make it pop out a lot and some cross hatching then at the top you can see there I drew a small city and to the left I have a tree and what looks like a dragon kind of a bit abstract in a way and I added more stippling to the lettering in the middle and now I'm just going over some areas and adding some more details and line work and stippling and this here I started adding some shading to clouds that I put on there and I put them on all four corners except for I think one corner I didn't add one and here I'm using a sharpie pen it helps me fill in areas a lot faster so that it doesn't take so long like with a technical pen this drawing was a lot of fun I look forward to doing more like this getting out more and going to places rather than just being stuck inside in my house all day. As you can see here, they turned the light on for me so I could see better. And I gave them the drawing. They really enjoyed it. I think I'm going to do another one for them in about a week or two. But thank you for watching. And this is the final drawing. <laughs>